Hello, Anselm Griffin here again, recording another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Today we're looking at for loops and Newton wraps. Now I've already done this YouTube tutorial, but this time I've added F0, the MATLAB function F0, which would get the exact answer. So I'd be able to compare the approximate answer uh, of Newton or Epson with the exact answer. So Ladies and gentlemen, I assume you know how the Newton Rapson works. This isn't a maths class, so my next iteration is my old iteration value minus the f of x over f prime of x or f dash of x. So I chose those this rather simple example of the function is e to the minus x minus x and then f prime. The differentiation of that would be minus e to the minus x minus one. Difference eight to minus x minus one, and I suppose that should be like that. If that if ever so slightly clear. My initial guess is two. I'm not too far away from the root. And remember, I'm going to store uh, six values. I have five iterations, but the fifth iteration will give me the sixth value. So I need a counter for the loop or for the array. And X1 is my initial guess, so X1 will be 2. Now, MATLAB being MATLAB, when I published it, it published the six values for the array X before the for loop. But well, that's just a, a quirk of publishing. The last three look the same, and that's because I've only printed the four decimal places there. But we'll see that I, when I get to the fifth iteration, the sixth value, I've printed the 12 decimal places. So I'm going to go around five times and I will get six values. There's my array F, not my array F, there's my function F, and there's F prime. I think that's OK. So on the first go, that's X1, and that's X1. And that's the exponential where x1 there is. Remember, what does x1 contain? The value 2. So that'll be, just go over that, that'll be e to the minus 2, minus 2, and f prime would be minus e to the minus 2, minus 1. And the second value in the array, xi plus 1, x2, is the initial one. That's x1 minus the f over f prime. So you go around five times and the fifth time you go around, you will get the sixth value. There's my f print f. I've printed it to 12 decimal places and there's the solution there. Now I wanted to see how I got on and compared it with the real value. So to find the root in MATLAB, you use a function called f0. We're going to have the same initial guess as before, just two. There's my anonymous function. Go to here initially. There's the anonymous function. And y, the function as above, is e to the minus x minus x. My initial guess is two. Z would be the answer. F0, the function. There's the anonymous function there e to the minus x minus x with the initial value is 2. And I printed out the exact solution there to 12 decimal places. And you can see that we're, you know, fairly in agreement. 329, 0, and then I have 380 there for the last three digits, and I have 410 there. So I think it's on the 10th decimal place that there's a change. OK, so hope that helps and thanks very much for listening.